Before I can start fixing this restaurant, I need to see how bad things really are. So tonight, I'm filling the bistro with 30 locals and I'm going to watch the Martin family in action. Have you got peas on? No, so I'm putting them on. That's what Fucking I'm saying. Fucking talk to me then, Mick, and I'll know what you want. Mick used to have a burger van, and it shows. He's working on his own and leaving Mo to second guess what he's doing. Mick, is there any chance you could talk a little bit to Mo? If it, at least she could help you a bit more if you open up and ask, no? If I say anything five minutes later, she forgets. So what's the I point of like telling her? Fuck too, right? You do love. Well, whatever, Mick. As long as you can make me look small, you're happy. Well, if you was to do all your garnishes and vegetables, I'd know where I am. But I'm doing half of your bloody job as well tonight. It's like a one-man band in there, like he's back in his burger van, cooking in and out of the microwave and totally fucking upside down. I mean, without Mo in the kitchen, he's fucked. We're only an hour and a half into service, but there's already a huge backlog of orders. A mix starting to crumble. I don't want no food sent down until I tell you. OK. No food sent down until he says, OK? Okay. No more food sent down. No more orders. You can't so handle it. That's what it is. You can't handle it. Sorry? How long no more orders? I've got to wait until he says, if I send one thing down, I'll get my head bit off. I don't. This is ridiculous. If Mick can't cope sending out ready meals, he shouldn't be running a kitchen. Joe, I don't really care what they say. I can only do what I can right. do. I'd rather you didn't take it out you of know. me, because I'm just asking. I've had to delay two tables till half past right, eight. I've got upstairs and where you belong. Right, I will. I'll stay up there. I like that thing. Michelle's impressive. She's the one person here who is in control. Sadly, she's now been left to face the fallout from her dad's incompetence. Yeah, I've been waiting about an hour and a half, yeah. Too long, to be fair. I've lost count of the minutes and it's just gone yet too long, really. We're hungry. Desperate. <laughs> Those meals Mick did manage to get out of the kitchen are now being sent back. You've got a phone there to communicate. Don't no, come down here and try and make a scene, cos you're on camera. Oh, so you're the one doing it. it. Can you ask Gordon to shut the kitchen down, please? You're going to have to. Because I refuse to work with my husband like this any longer. Right, I'll go and sort it out. I'm so sorry, but the beach door is closed. My husband's big fucking dream was a complete farce. Where's he gone? I don't know, Gordon. I don't fucking care. Now, yeah, Mick, come on. I can't, I'm not going to fucking have a heart attack over this. I don't want you to My have a fucking heart attack. Fucking I don't want you to have a heart attack over this. My heart's fucking booming, I just don't want it. I'm his daughter, and he speaks to me like shit, like mum, you know, and that's his wife. You know, and he thinks he does it because he thinks he gets away with it. He can't get away with it. I can take the knock, so I think like, I tried to take all the knocks for everybody. But even though I've got a breaking point.